For some of you guys, this may seem like a repeat because I did stream this game quite a bit when it first came out, but before it gets too old, we should definitely cover it because I fully expect this game to release enough content in the future to make it worth the price of admission. And that is $24.99 for a game that's in early access, which is a very, very tough pill to swallow for some of you. I fully, fully understand that 100%. Now, what you're looking at <laughs> is the jukebox. It just turned off. We can turn it back on again. Yeah, Boop. that's nice. There we go. Now quit it. And Mission Control will chime in and basically tell you things every once in a while whenever you uh, dick around in this room here, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, but first, I want to say thank you, Tanneros, for gifting this to me uh, so, so many weeks back. Uh, I appreciate it very much. I have put, again, put a lot of time into this game already, and I definitely do enjoy it. There is one big major, one fucking major issue that just drives me nuts, and that is that uh, it's, it's so shallow. It's just shallow. Let's go take a look at what Mr. Terminal here. And what we're gonna do today actually is, this fucking music still playing in the background. What we're gonna do today is, uh, uh, first I'm gonna show you guys all of the different systems, right? Uh, and then we're gonna go into the game. Because if I go into a match, I'm gonna lose like all of you guys before we talk about the systems because you guys are gonna be fucking bored out of your mind by the time we reach the end. Actually, that's probably not true because you probably haven't played this game as many times as I have. Probably not at all if you're watching this thing up to this point. Now. These are all the different areas you can go through and uh, do any different types of missions, right? And each one has a different uh, a different type of uh, mineral or some kind of resources available. One that's abundant and one that's scarce. Uh, scarce. <laughs> and then over here, same thing, abundant, scarce, uh, croppa and the jadas. And then over here, magnetite or magnite and croppa, blah, 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 blah. All these different missions uh, on, on these different regions and each one has uh, a different uh, resources available to you on top of being different a different type of uh, a different type of mission itself now if you look at this this is just a basic go and collect a whole bunch of a certain resource type of mission you're gonna be going through different caverns uh, and collecting these things fighting off bugs and all of that good stuff this is a, an extraction mission, which is go and collect X number of whatever, uh, and then basically, and then get out. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're gonna be fighting bugs. This uh, is uh, actually the same thing as this one, and this is is also very, fairly similar to this one. In each case, you're gonna be fighting a ton of bugs. There is one mission that is actually a little, a little bit different, and it's this. And in this case, you just you have to actually go and kill bugs. <laughs> That's what makes a difference. In every other mission, you're killing bugs. In this one, you go and you kill the bugs. <laughs> Granted, there are three, uh, I think, juggernauts or whatever, uh, three big ass bosses that you have to kill. Uh, not necessarily big, but they basically they're they're very difficult uh, to actually. Uh, their encounters actually very different. They're different phases and all this stuff. Um, but that's the only difference. So that's where the shallowness is. It's that <laughs> there is just one major thing to do you you mine shit and you kill bugs now it being a deep rock galactic mining game the mining part makes sense uh as well as extracting different uh you know whatever kind of resources they have that it's not like a mineral of sorts like uh, uh sometimes they have a kind of like a mushroom or fungus or a flower or something like that uh and then of course the killing of bugs that's pretty much what's left over in terms of like that the thing that they could probably fix and change in the future to make it so you're not necessarily feel like you're doing the same thing. Uh, there's also layouts that they could do different types of biomes or something that are a little bit more drastic than what they already have. Uh, they do have a different types of biomes, but they kind of it just feels like it's a different kind of color scheme uh, with a certain uh, maybe a mineral or something like that that you can interact with that either gives you light or puts out radiation or that will electrocute you or whatever. It's basically environmental hazards, uh, but nothing necessarily looks any different. Again, deep rock. I guess you could expect that, but I feel like you could be a little more creative uh, with that. Especially think about like Warframe, for example. Warframe started out with nothing but a whole bunch of tiles of the same type of ship. And then they expanded out into all these different types of ship that were so dramatically different that you could not, you, you go in and you're like, wow, this is, this is like playing in a completely different world. Because it was uh, in Warframe. And in this game, I feel like they could do that. Put us in different types of rocks. Maybe something, maybe maybe a gaseous type of, 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 of scenario that gives you an excuse to have a big open air at the top. 
you could tell I played a lot of this, right? Because I have a lot of fucking opinions. We haven't even gotten to the first screen yet, but we're getting there. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, but yeah, you could have this seemingly wide open space and just have you, you maybe you could you know, dig down a little bit to get resources, or whatever. But just say, hey, you know what? It's a it's a ga- it's a gases planet. That's it. It's just a gas planet with a rocky core, and we're in the core, and we're getting everything out, and we're and look above. Like, if you look up, you could you could see for miles. You know, there's there's excuses you come up with to make this kind of thing work and so i'm hoping that we see some of that in the future especially for the price tag of 24 dollars 99 cents but i did technically get my 25 dollars worth uh well i mean i didn't pay for it tanneros did um but <laughs> if i had paid for it i would still be happy with the current state now uh i am playing a scout you have four different classes scout engineer gunner driller Okay, the scout has uh, basically has a, 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 an assault rifle. He has a shotgun. He has a pickaxe. They all have they have flares. They all have grenades. Same thing. A flare gun, which is one of his special abilities, is gear. And he has a grappling gun, which is the reason why I love this guy. It's basically just an oh shit button, and it works very very well. The engineer uh, is actually capable of, and all of these, all of these skills actually have synergy, which is super nice. Um, the platform gun is the biggest thing. I mean, he okay, he does have, yeah, sure, okay, he has a turret, a, two turrets he could put down, uh, which are is awesome. The turrets are great, but really, the platform gun is where it's at, especially if you're a scout. Now, if you're a scout, uh, you could basically pull yourself up onto a mineral that's maybe high up in a in a in a particular cavern. And he can put a platform underneath you, so now you have a working area. That's awesome. He can also build bridges and all that stuff using his platform gun. So yeah, platform gun is dope. Now, uh, Gunner. Uh, I mean, he has a C4, a uh, zipline gun, and the fucking minigun, which is awesome. Really, is, really does some work. Uh, the zipline gun, though, is going to be everybody's best friend. Because while a scout can basically get to whatever point he wants to go to, just simply by zipping around, uh... Your buddies can't come with you. So the zip line gun comes in handy because you're able to basically create a series of zip lines going up or down or wherever you want to go, and everybody can use it. It's very, very easy to use. You can actually just hang there for a minute, but just kind of hit E back and forth to go back and forth, forward or backwards, whatever, to kind of hold your position uh, and keep yourself out of uh, out of reach of some of the enemies. Uh, let's see, and the last class is the Driller. Driller is pretty obvious what that does. He also has satchel charge, which I think is the same thing that the, uh, yeah, yeah. So basically he has essentially like C4, um, and he has the reinforced power drills. The difference between a reinforced power drill and using your regular pickaxe is either go, everyone's got a pickaxe. Well, a pickaxe will only pull out a tiny chunk of what's in front of you, and that's pretty much it, right? And you have to, if you want to make a hole big enough for you to go into, you're going to be there for a second, right? Uh, the power drills do work. They basically cut out a dwarf-shaped box just by, they just boof, hit it and go. It will overheat if you try to use it too much at once without, without letting it cool down. But uh, if you need to if you need to make it to your escape, you make it make an escape route basically out of from anywhere. Uh, these guys can do it for you. Now, everything is limited by by a number or by a resource number. Right. Um, so, for example, I only have so many flares that I could shoot out. The flare gun is better than the flare because the flare gun will last longer uh, and it illuminates much more, uh, much more area than the flare will. Flares regenerate. Uh, you run out of ammo. You can run out of uh, uh, Z4. Uh, you can run out of basically anything. Flares, I believe, flares regenerate. It's been a while, but bl- flares are pretty much the only thing that you can actually regenerate. So um, maybe the grenade. I'm not sure. Okay, so over here, vanity shop. Pretty obvious what a vanity shop is. Uh, in this case, beards. The number one tab is beards. <laughs> That's how you know this game is serious, all right? Beards is the number one thing. Uh, and uh, they all pretty much use pretty much the same beards. Uh, but if you unlock it for one, I don't believe you get it for another. I guess we could just test that right now. Uh, God, I don't want to spend my money on a fucking beard. Uh, can, I, can I actually get this? I'm going to say, what was the, the cheapest beard is 4,000 bucks. Clean shave, really? Clean shave costs money? Fuck it, let's make him look creepy. There you go, bam. Done! Clean shave unlocked. Now let's go over here and see if we have... Uh, oh, actually, we wouldn't see it here. Uh, we actually go over here, I think, to change looks. And we got two beards, we got a clean shave. <laughs> this is weird looking. Uh, yeah, look at that. Does not have it unlocked. Does not have it unlocked. Does not have it unlocked. So there you go. So if you want to unlock a beard, <laughs> a clean shave, you have to actually pay for it on each person. They clearly don't do their own uh, grooming, because that's that. You're ba- all you're paying right now is, is obviously the uh, the barber. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, and then armor. Armor is where you see some some bit of a significant difference between the uh, the looks of the character in terms of like the silhouette and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, this guy for the most part, I'm actually working my way. I, I really want this. <laughs> I actually am. I'm looking forward to this because right now I look like this. Kind of look like a chump, right? Uh, but I get one of these, and all of a sudden I start to look kind of like a mech, and I'm kind of liking that feel. You know, I'm a scout, supposed to be lightweight and all that stuff, kind of zip around and stuff. But, you know, maybe I want to go and get in there and play as a uh, uh, as something else. Uh, let's see, headgear, different types of caps, okay, hair colors, blah, blah, blah. We got that already. Uh, go and take a look at some of the other it's engineers. Do, 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 right? That actually looks kind of cool. That's some Warcraft shit. Uh, let's see over here, Gunner. Gunner is just, uh, yeah, just different shapes. I mean, that's kind of, wow, damn, that's awesome. Uh, and then over here with the driller, 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 driller is just kind of lame, actually. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Actually, the starting one looks the best. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. All right, so let's go over here to the mission panel. Is there anything else? Yeah, they were good. All right, let's see if we can get, uh, get in a match with some people here. Go server list. Nah, let's go quick join. We'll take anything, right? Hazard, whatever. Can I just do any? Any. Bam. Done. Different type of hazards, different type of uh, complexities and all that stuff. Uh, the uh, different mission lengths. Hopefully we get into something that's... Uh, <laughs> I see they have the jukebox going. All right, so yeah, we're gonna play as a scout, obviously. What up? What's up, folks? What's happening? You ready to go to work? On, yeah, let's boys. do it. We're leaving. Smoke break? Okay. I'll go refill my water. He's gonna have a smoke break. Stop, Stop it now. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a gang of barrels up here. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Could you please hurry up? We're leaving. Oh, this is going to be great. Team. Pretty good team uh, in terms of level for this. We're doing the uh, level four difficulty, which I believe is the hardest difficulty. Um. Yeah, Hazard 4 Extreme, yeah. This is gonna suck. Like, this is seriously, this is gonna be the, the like, like, this is actually a good, a good example for this ending for breakfast, because then you guys are gonna see uh, just how difficult this game could potentially be. We could get lucky with some RNG, though, or, you know, these guys being fucking stallions and just basically working their way through it. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll see when we get in. I'm really not ready for this. Here we go again. Stone. Stone. Sending you in deep, so be on your guard. Scanners indicate particularly rich veins of morkite and gold further down. I get this thing down, there we go, because I keep spawning in all these dull dudes. Those spiders. If you have some kind of arachnophobia, you're not going to make it through this game, obviously. Probably even make this far. I should get a flare out here. Oh, that is fucking high. What the hell? This is a very, very tall shit. Oh shit! Oh, I did not pull. This is not a good example. I'm, I'm playing this character, ter character terribly right now. <laughs> oh shit! Two of you are down. Coming. Get up here. Oh boy, you got lots of heat on you though. I'm gonna try to just kite them as much as I can. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna help. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Almost died. Stun on my stun grenade right here. Oh, shit. Away again. Oh nice man. Yeah, Focus. shit. I'm down. I'm down. Fuck. We just got clobbered okay. the second we got in here. I'll take care of him. <laughs> so the grenade that I threw over there, uh, the little electrical field, actually will uh, uh, slow them down when they walk through it. It'll last for a significant amount of time as well. Uh, oh, man. But I'm yeah, down. in yeah. this case, there's just like, yeah, it's too oh. much. Let's try, uh, let's try three. Yeah. You want to try four again? Oh my god. I, we, I guess, yeah, sure, fuck it. All right, let's try one more time. <laughs> Redemption time, baby. Ten 
Now yeah, let's it. see how these fuckers do. Oh, nice. I, I love that it gave us the exit, like, right away. So that right there, chat, and chat, lol, uh, is actually the, uh, the compacted dirt is where you can move on to the next zone. So you want to look for that in every cavern or uh, every area that you're in. Sometimes it's uh, a little more obvious than others. It's going to explode. That bug explodes. That's just a regular ass bug. The green ones have armor in the front. So you have to get behind them. So we'll just do this. Woo! Just get behind them real quick. I should do have ADS. I should probably use that just a little. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. I'm lying. This stupid thing won't give me his ass. <laughs> Okay, you can shoot him in the mouth, but this is not quite as effective. Just shoot him in the ass. Get out, get out of the pinch. Lower left corner, you can see that I have a shield. And I also have a uh, health shield. You don't see them, right there. Blue right there. That's them. The green guys leave a gas behind, so you can't steer, stay near the uh, corpse. Engineer put down his turrets. Everything was looking pretty good. Shoot him in the mouth. Fuck it. I feel like it's a waste of ammo doing like this. Which, by the way, you do have a limited ammo. You have to get a certain, a certain type of resource and a certain amount of it in order to actually bring down a uh, ammo reload. This right here is a mule. Basically drop a little thing right here. Boop. And it'll come walking over to wherever that point is. You could drop your minerals in it. You can only hold so much. And actually right now we need to start farming up some of this right now. Although, technically I guess I could say my job is to walk around and make sure that everybody is... Uh... We got time to breathe there. Finally. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was a good start for sure. <laughs> Thanks for the platform. Yes, sir. This is good. This is good. Even these little bits will give you some. Nitra. Nitra is the resource that you use to uh, call down your your reload. This is nothing. This is just garbage right there. Lots of nitro over here as well. Yeah, so we collect as much as we can of that, and then we'll be able to call down a refill or whatever. Resupply. That's the word I've been looking for. There you go. Drop that in like that. It's upper right corner. You can see uh, how much we have. Uh, it won't tell me unless I actually go and reload it again. Oh, there it goes. Gold is 26. Nitro 42. I think we need 75 or something to call down a, uh, a resupply. But we'll see. We'll see as we get moving here. That right there is health. I forget what it's called, but it's health. Actually, I can just like this. Control this. Let's see. Uh, red sugar. That's right. Booger sugar, let's call it. Uh, that is your health. You uh, chop, chip, chip away some of that and you'll get... A little bit of health at a time. Here's some more gold and everything over here. Ooh, nice. Careful! Shoot those oranges all the way back to that way. They take out whoever's near them. Oh, you guys didn't want to explore this cavern? Uh, we the actually right didn't go too down. far here. Oh, yeah, the one right next to it. Yeah, there's some gold right here. We'll come back. These little bastards, you can hack on them. Take that! Yeah, let's grab up some of this gold and we'll go back and check out that cavern. Shit. Pretty much beat on them until your shield's gone and then you want to get away. Or use something else. Got both of them? Nope. There we go. Shit, that's gonna blow. One more hack for this guy, he's done. No, come here, you son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. Sometimes you get waves of these things. It'll tell you. The voiceover will tell you. Come on, get my G out there. There it is. Get my grenade out. Them in that field, they, that slow field, no. they can't necessarily do anything. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Like that right there, that guy's just chilling. Chilling my field. Okay, let's get the rest of this gold. Oof, where'd he go? Oh, he's going that way. There has to be a spawner or something over there, because these it's just like a steady stream creeping in. Flare out. There we go. 
Oh, these guys are exploring this area over here. Um, I see. Not much different from what we were doing on the other side, but we'll go with it. Teamwork and whatnot. Oh, someone's down. Uh, I'll try to move to him. How did he even get... I'm just gonna punch a hole to go to get to him. Right coin, you can see that it is a zero out of three dreadnought. You haven't even seen the big spider yet. But after you do, then you've pretty much seen all of them. And there's one of the spawners right there. Found a spawner. Shit, uh, is comms down or something? I can't hear. I can't. Maybe I can't hear you guys because I didn't even notice that you were down too. What the fuck? I think voiceover died. Which is super. That's that sucks. That's a terrible thing for uh, in an actual review. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh wait, I hear you now. hear me yes sir okay cool Please hurry. yeah I don't know how you got down there but I'm just gonna just keep on I'm just gonna dig down to you well he's right below us so. yeah, oh I see he's coming up from the bottom I got him that was close. Thank you, pal. can't get out god oh, damn it <laughs> so these green clusters here that he's beaten through somewhere in here there's like a there's um, a cache of some sort, some kind of precious mineral in bulbous form, and you pick it up and you can't do anything with it until you deposit it. You'll probably see them come out of this, but it's basically wherever these things are formed for the most part. Something that comes some kind of glowing crystal. Did you actually get the item out of here? Or no, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, man? Take your sweet time, old lady. Oh, there she is. That boy's down over there. I'm gonna. Oh, I think we actually have a chance to make it out alive. All right, let's see if we can get the last death here. You guys just go ahead and mine. I'll bring. I'll come back with uh, Buddy. All right, cool. Oh, you sprung a. Bring the pay! There we go. Get all this stuff all out. This is this is gonna be a very very long video. I can fucking tell. <laughs> like it's already. It's like I wish we could bust this up. It'll fall to the ground. So let's go and do that. There we go. Let it fall to the ground. It's easier to get. So to kind of come back up here. Good. Oh shit. You see, we need more nitra. More nitro, then we can get more. Oh, come on, come on. Nah, no, don't put that thing right there. Ah, uh, so more nitro we get, then we the more the more resupplies we could get. And with all the shooting we're going to be doing, a lot we're, that we're doing so far, uh, we're already running out of uh, out of uh, ammo and whatnot. Like right here, the little right corner, you can see I have 129, or, well, 130 or so. Shit, we'll have to be a chain reaction right there at least. There we go. Jesus Christ. Get behind this guy since he can't turn around very quickly. Or not. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, shit. Nice. Shit. Oh, no fall damage. Oh, thank God. He's not giving me anything there. I'm not seeing any numbers. Something's in the way. Or we are lagged out. Oh. Oh, no. Ugh. Well, that is a very, very uh, unfortunate, but it is something that happens um, situation. So that's it. That session is gone. I played with these guys for 20 minutes now, and I guess 
either somebody DC'd and we lost the host. Think post migration <laughs> issues from Warframe era. Uh, or or we the server just dropped. But it's peer to peer, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna put my money on somebody uh, somebody dropped. But here's the thing though. The only thing you've not seen is extraction, which is the last part of every mission. You have to get out, right? You dump all your resources in the mule. The mule will start marching his way over like straight towards the uh, the escape pod that gets deployed to you. And your job is to make it there within the like three minutes or whatever that's allotted to you. Uh, so you have to be careful when you decide to turn in, because if you're super deep in the caves, you may be stuck with an engineer just trying to trying to basically carve a direct path between you and the escape pod. Meanwhile, there's there's waves and waves of all of these different um, of, all, of all of these spiders and, and, you know, whatever type of monsters uh, that are coming to you. They're all spiders. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to include this into the in the in for breakfast because I want to I, I want you guys to see what it's like to play the game. Right. We did have uh, we, we did play a little bit. Unfortunately, the server died. Uh, I will tell you this. The, it, it, that did not happen one time uh, in all the previous hours that I've played it. That is the that is the first time it's played. But I'm gonna I'm choosing to keep it in because it is something that has been reported to happen to other players as well. So it could be that because I was playing with the same people uh, where nobody was dropping because maybe they were dead for too long or whatever could have possibly happened. Uh, then my experience was uh, was more positive and I didn't have these issues, these disconnect issues. But, you know, if you plan on just playing matchmaking, you might get stuck in this situation, too, where you're connecting with people and then you're getting DC'd. So think about where you live, <laughs> where you live in conjunction with everybody else. Right now, it is 1225 a.m. on a weekday. OK, look at the mission terminal. We look at server lists. You can see that there is. Uh, there's no close servers, no medium servers, no far servers, no world servers. None? There we go. Okay. Okay. There. So there are servers that are available. I just took a minute, minute to load. Uh, for an indie game, for an indie game, uh, this is actually, uh, a pretty good, an indie multiplayer game. You don't always see this in a multiple, multiplayer indie game. It's just not always a thing. So here we go. Uh, these guys are coming back up. I actually don't see the, the name of the people that I was with, but I didn't necessarily see all their names, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you've Again, you've already seen, for the most part, just about everything that I wanted to show you guys today. Everything else is just basically fluff. Uh, and you, when you play single player, you get like a little drone that kind of goes around with you, and you can actually tell them to go and mine things that are out of your reach, which is great, because if you don't have a scout, you can't reach certain things, right? So that's what you... That's that's why you want to have, uh, or I guess our engineer also, um, or engineer, no, the gunner, gunner is the one with the uh, zip lines. Uh, so yeah, yeah, there's, there's basically little things, little, little accommodations they make for you when you play a single player. So you can play a single player, but that's, the game's going to get old even faster if you do that. Uh, the, the, the dynamic between the different players and everything is actually pretty fun, uh, as well as the synergy between the different classes and all that stuff and being able to coordinate as you guys have seen that we've already done, even the short play that, that I gave for you guys, gave to you guys here today. So that's it. New missions in 30 minutes, it says, uh, but I will not be around for that. It doesn't matter. There's tons of missions currently available that I've not completed yet. It just means that more will refresh on the uh, more random ones to be generated on the uh, on the world map, their mission terminal. So that's it. Woo, man. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry that ended in such a, a sour note, but at the same time, again, you guys already seen everything. So that's it. My name is Mike BAK Phony. This is any for breakfast the games called Deep Rock Galactic. You can currently get it on Steam for $24.99. Thank you again, Tanneros, and I'll see you guys later.